So what is difficult about this piece is absolutely the dynamics. I have to play from pianissimo to fortissimo or fortissimo even. And it's sometimes in very quick changes, so with a very quick crescendo. And to do this still organically is quite difficult, especially because I decided to do everything in pianissimo with the lip control. So I'm using the lip control to have the wind channel only slightly open, which needs a lot of pressure. So I realize my lips get quite tired after practicing it. <laughs> and now I want to record this video and it's almost impossible, but I still did try. And since this is a workshop, I think I'm allowed to fail. <laughs> do this again. setting now. I have already too much tension on my lip and um, then I press too much and there's no sound anymore. So what I have to really learn is to um, get relaxed while using this lip control. So I do this from the beginning of the line. better and I realized I also have to think about flowing. <laughs> um, it's the same with articulation. Very often you forget to actually um, give input. So give 
electricity to what you want to do. So in this case, electricity means air. Okay, go on. Just a few things about this passage. Um, when the melodies are rising, it's written in pianissimo and I'm playing this completely with the lip control. Here you have to be careful to not move the instrument too much. This is why I'm using quite a lot um, a finger to keep the instrument in balance. So in this case, it's my right index finger. And then I decided to go into niente, not with the lip control on another spot, but to do it with the thumb, so with a finger. So it's a gradual decrescendo. I can play this passage again and have the connection to the presto possibile furioso. <laughs> and I'm using quite a lot of um, forte fingerings to give the instrument a lot of resonation. So I put, for example, um, pitches from the second register into the third register. I'm closing also the thumb. Then I'm using the forte fingering for F sharp. I'm also closing here the thumb. And later on also yeah, to give it a lot of power. Um, genau, I, I will do this short passage again, so you hear uh, the connection with the thumb and then going into the lip control. So this is a little tricky. I'm still not really convinced about this part. 
I have want to use harsh, harsh articulation, but then on the other hand, if I use it till the end, um, the pitches sound quite um, bad somehow. In German we say stumpf, so they don't have really colors anymore. So I'm wondering if I should add air to that, especially with the ritardando. This might be a nice solution for that, but I'm still figuring this passage out. So I will go on. Now, once more. Now. <laughs> once again, sorry. Yeah, what happened here, I didn't use the quarter fingering for the F sharp. And then it's kind of tricky to go back into the lip control position because the pitch will drop. Because the rule is that if you do use the lip control, you have to use as many fingers as possible on the instrument and um, to find a nice balance with the fingerings for the air stream. So I can do a very nice decrescendo on the quarter fingering but if I don't do it if I do it with the standard fingering you hear then the, the note drops so this is absolute absolutely a good point for you to know um, I will try it again I want to use actually a quarter fingering, but I used a quarter fingering which is not as strong as I wanted it to be, so I have to use even a different one. Because now Cristobal Halfter wants to go from piano to fortissi fortissimo. And if I do it on this, it sounds better, I think. he wants a piano in the third register and I thought this would be nice with the lip control as well. So 
So this means only s uh, slightly open the fifth finger for the B-flat. You just have to think about relaxing this finger. This is already enough. If you think about opening, it's already too much. This was a little bit too um, forced. I think it would be nicer to really sink in. 